What's up everybody? Uh, today we're going to be trying to do a picture on some aluminum using a 30 watt fiber um, laser. CO2 might be down for a couple days. I think it needs to, um, the stepping motors replaced in it. They're getting super hot when I'm doing an engraving and it's not cutting the right sizes. So I'm pretty sure that thing needs a repair old Betsy. She's not feeling too good right now. So uh, we're going to do a video on the 30 watt tonight. Uh, I've been practicing around with metal and just trying to get the hang of this thing. I've had it for probably about a month. Um, so just follow the steps and all that good stuff. If you learned something cool, be sure you like the video, all that good stuff. And let's get into it. I'll show you the settings I'm using in Lightburn. All right, so I got my boy Gandalf here. My boy Gandalf looking all cool. I'll go to adjust image. I'm going to roll this bad boy as a negative. Make sure I got everything where I want it. About 25. And fill it up. Always changes a little bit. I'm just going to roll it as a negative. We're going to do it really fast though. Probably like 1500 millimeters a second. And roll it at like 65 power. We're going to keep kilohertz down at 20. Say oop dokey. Frame. Give it a little bit. We'll roll this bad boy at, um, as a negative, and then we're going to go back over it as a positive. And we're just trying to basically take off that shiny coat, that shiny clear coating. That seems to mess up things for me. But uh, let's we'll see how she looks after uh, it's done doing this. Up. That's what she looks like. Just reflected a laser beam in the eye. That didn't feel too good. Um, you know, I was going to do that method where I was like going to do it both ways, but this kind of looks short. I might just go ahead and. Oh god. Clumsy me. Okay. Pull this bad boy out. I mean, I don't know. Looks good from the right angle, but I think that's just working with metal in general, especially with shiny surfaces. It makes it a lot harder. See, like this one down here, I engraved this and I did it the other way I was talking about. And I don't think you get as much of that reflection off of it. See what I mean? But that looks sharp too. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section which one you like better. Um, that's a... Uh, I don't know. That's just doing a negative image with the Jarvis Dither. I uh, did some photo editing in Photoshop and we're just engraving as a negative. So that turned out pretty good. Um... And then that one is doing it the other way I was going to teach before, but I don't know. I kind of don't want to mess that up now. <laughs> uh, we'll do another one. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it before and after. We'll try it again. Uh, the other way I was going to do it versus this way. We'll see which one's better. Let's let's go. Line this bad boy back up. Right there. Not too far down picture might be too far up yeah, that looks good enough tighten it down there and uh, we'll lower it just a touch but uh, let's uh, let's engrave it again 
All right, and this is going to be the comparison piece. Let's see which one comes out better. Let's see if the, the other method I use is better than just the negative. And I mean, it's like so ghosted out from angles, and this one just doesn't do that. That's why I was preferring that, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We will find out. Time will tell, everybody. Time will tell. All right, all right. We've got a uh, negative done. Now let's roll this thing positive and burn this thing to make it look like a white nothing. So let me get that done. We'll get that ready. Let's do it. All right, so now that I'm back in light burn, I'm going to go back into my adjust. Oh, not trace image. Dang it. Wrong button. Wrong button. I'm going to go back into adjust image. I'm going to unclick negative. Say okie dokie. Go to start, and we're just going to run this thing the same power settings, everything before, except now it's going to do it not negative. And you'll see, it's just going to roll through and just kind of erase everything. But it takes that shine away, so you don't have to worry about like reflections getting into uh, interfering with your image. That's at least the hope that I have. So uh, we'll let this one run, make Gandalf disappear, then we'll run it again a little slower, and we'll burn those images. And we'll run it again as a positive, though. We won't run it negative, we'll run it as a positive, because we'll be burning from light to dark. And it should look good, hopefully. Hopefully it'll look as good as, uh, as it did before we ruined it. So stay tuned. Those creepy eyes. You shall not see. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are. Gandalf, he is gray. No pun intended. So now I'm going to run that again. But this time I'm going to do it a lot slower so we'll actually burn the image into the metal. I'm also going to change the scan angle. So give me just a second and we'll change that around. I'll show you what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm back into light burn. We're going to go into adjust image. Make sure that's good. Yep. Not negative. I'm going to change our settings here. I'm going to change this down to 100. 100 millimeters a second. Change this guy to... 65 and I'm going to up my frequency to around 35. Frequency is kind of the intensity of it so the lower the frequency the more material it takes away at least that's the way I understand it. Um, the higher the frequency the less intense it is. Um, we're going to leave it at Jarvis. We're going to go in instead of going up and down we're going to go side to side or kind of diagonal I guess that is. And we're just going to do one pass. I might... No, we're not going to do dot width this time around. And, well, that should be good. Let's uh, roll with it and see how it goes. She used to just being slightly out of focus. Screws up so much. Well guys, there it is. It is finished up. There was the other one beforehand. Same lighting and everything. Let's uh, unbolt it to we'll look at it. So there's the other one. You can see once you get some reflection on it. You lose it. You don't really have that with this one. It's kind of what I'm going for. I find like that distracting. It just messes with the image. You got to hold it at the right light to see it. 
But with that, it looks pretty good head on. I think you might get some it just looks good. Had a little bit of focus issue right there, so it didn't all turn out great, but overall. Um, you could probably take this instead of doing positive and negative. I was thinking about it while I was doing the video. I could take the same uh, image, roll it into Photoshop, and uh, convert it, like roll the, the whites all the way down to make everything black. And then you would just engrave this silhouette and then do the details over top of that. So that'd probably be a little quicker. Uh, but there it is. That's on metal. You can see it. I mean, it really pops like that. You can see it real good compared to the other one. I don't really see a situation where the other one would be more, you know, would stand out better. But I don't know. I mean, that doesn't look bad. You could probably get by on that. But I think that would just take it to the next level. And you, it looks good from a lot of different angles. So if you learned something cool, be sure you like the video, all that good stuff, and uh, subscribe. Um, I probably will do a little bit more with the fiber um, laser and show you guys some more stuff with that coming soon. So hopefully you enjoy it and uh, thanks again for watching.